Okay, one more example of a really bad topic sentence. Eventually, Fontaine's advantage is sacrificed in order to care for her daughter and sells her previously identity as a beauty at the heart of the people to give in to the corruption of an industrialized society, the looming shadow of the revolution's noble intent. Okay, let's first of all start off. I have no idea what this sentence is even saying. It is so convoluted. This is another really common uh, problem of 10th grade essays. A person is trying to sound really smart by throwing in lots of words and putting extra clauses into the sentences, but in the end, when you read it, it just doesn't make any sense. So I would say absolutely not clear. And when I went back and read the comments on this essay, um, they got blasted because of the just unclear nature of this topic sentence. Can one paragraph address the topic? Again, because there are, some, there are clauses put in and it's kind of all over the map, there's talk about Fontaine and then uh, how she changes over time and then the corruption of the industrial society and the French Revolution. There's so much going on in the topic sentence, I don't think there's any way that one paragraph could talk about everything. So again, no, paragraph cannot be addressed and the topic can't be addressed in a single paragraph. Can the sentence control other sentences? Again, because it's so convoluted and it's so all over the map, it would have trouble controlling all the other sentences in the paragraph, so I would say no. Will it be the most general? When I read back through the essay, yes, it was the most general. It is kind of a general overview sentence, although it is kind of convoluted and hard to understand, but it is the most general, so at least it got that part of our rubric of check marks uh, to see what it did well. And does it provide a transition from the previous paragraph? Not at all. Again, there's no indication of what the previous paragraph talked about and how it flowed into this new paragraph that's being discussed. We'll be working on this consistently uh, in Unit 1 in our writing uh, workshop. But again, a topic sentence has to meet these five criteria in order to be good. This one barely meets one of the five and is just a really good example of how a bad topic sentence can make it so difficult for a reader to understand what you're trying to say. Don't fall into this trap. Don't try to sound smart. Make your sentences clear and then use your evidence and your explanation to show that you've read the material and understand it at a deep level.